welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing an older toy from around 2010. This is Twitch from Toy Story 3. It is a pretty basic toy. When you're looking at circulation, its head, when you press it down, it's got that basic sort of fly mouth that opens. And the wings on the back do extend. So when you press the button on its belly, they will pop open. That is quite nice. There is a little bit of detail around the toy, so they have faded the paint up the actual leg. This is a Thinkway toy. I do like Thinkway toys. I've always been a bit of a fan of them, but this is their sort of budget range that they just kicked into the Disney store. Now, when you press the button on its belly, both wings are supposed to spring open and spring to life. The left hand wing on this one, as you see, is a little bit lazy. Most of them do go that way. And today I've not found a way of repairing them, but I haven't looked into it that much. No, so that's something we might readdress in a later video. Basic articulation, I'd say. So when you're looking through the bits of his body that move, I'd say they're comparable to sort of a Buzz Lightyear or an Action Man. They're not overly poseable or overly displayable. The paint is quite reasonable on this particular toy. So the actual body cast, I believe, is all the way through in that green, so they don't mark very easily. And just the details are painted on afterwards, which is quite nice because these are usually a little bit kicked about and played with. So because of that, you don't sort of get the battle scarring. You're looking at the eyes, they've used like this metallic-y paint, which works really well to create that sort of fly eye effect. I'm a little bit disappointed with their antennas that are on the top there. They do get out of shape very easily and they're very hard to reshape. Um, this is a hard toy to make it stand up on its own, but that's really all there is to say about it. I just think really in 2020, these toys would be a hundred pounds. Really its store value is around 30 pounds, um, 25 to 30 pounds when it was released. And that's really all it is worth. It's not got that sort of premium feel like one of the collection toys. And it certainly hasn't got that Thinkway feel that I'm sort of used to with this particular sort of range. But nonetheless, it's it's not a bad toy. They do work. I just say pay appropriately for them. And if you get one at a bargain, they're nice to complete a collection. Please take a minute to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Everything helps. Thank you. 